<clears throat> hey dolls, so this is probably a late one for most people because a lot of people have already done them but I did put up a post saying kind of I wanted a break um, over Christmas scenes everyone in my family and my partner was obviously on holiday so we kind of decided to stop uh, our once Christmas hit so um, that's why this video is late so this as you can see in the title is what I got for Christmas now I did get a, a a lot of stuff well I say a lot of stuff I don't feel like it was that much this year but there was a lot of stuff that was more expensive this year um, so I guess that's kind of why things are a bit more less um, hang on I'm just trying to find right um, there is some stuff here that I don't actually have at the moment, that isn't here at the moment, and some of the stuff I've eaten already. Sorry. <laughs> um, so I'll just get started in no particular order, because everything's scattered next to me. Um, so yes, um, I got two books for Christmas, the first one being the Michelle Fan Makeup Your Life guide to beauty style and success online and off um it's just this one i don't know if anyone's seen this book but um i've wanted it for a while now um and i've started reading it and i'm actually really enjoying it so it's kind of her life and then like to start with and then it goes into kind of beauty tips fashion tips and kind of things like that um so yes i got this one um i also got um rabid uh, which is kind of a fictional book it's sort of like the life of the dog um, who has rabies and kind of that perspective but it's kind of semi-fiction because there's a lot of facts and stuff in this book I have not read it yet but obviously I've read uh, people's reviews on it um, so I'm looking forward to that and my dad bought me a hardback copy so that it will last longer so I'm actually glad I've got this because I've been after this for ages um, I also got a load of socks uh, from, I think it was Accessorize, um, and they all look like this, like with an animal at the foot and then like a pattern. I do have a pair which I believe is just pandas all over it or something. Um, so I got a load of these, but at the moment I can only show you this one because all the rest are in the wash. So that's that. I, I think I, I got a lot. I don't know how many I got. Um, but connected with wash I got this <laughs> which is kind of a flat pack fabric um, wash wash dirty clothes bin obviously it's full because I've got to do washing today um, and it's black which kind of goes well with the room as you can see there's black cupboards and like a black tank over there so it kind of goes well with the room so I've been using that um, I also got this uh, kind of uh, thing for your head I can't it's, it's a hat with no head part um, I've wanted one of these for ages and um, this one's like a fox kind of coloring um, which actually all the animals that we have or in this house and in my house um, all seem to really really like love licking it I don't really know why um, I don't know whether it's the coloring or this one smells slightly different um, I think this was picked up from the the house the good home expo or something like that um it's really good and i can't wait to wear it out but like i mean with this kind of hair it just doesn't work so <laughs> you know so i'm actually glad i got one um it's a bit orange from what i like but i, I still like it um i also got finally after wanting it since october was the Mehron, Mehron, something like that. This is there. Um, the special effects all pro makeup kit. Um, now Christmas day I opened this and the spirit gum was absolutely obliterated in the pack so I had to order a new one or I tried to order a new one of these and they wouldn't replace the part that was broken or just send me a new one I would have to refund and pay more to get a new one because it's gone up in price um, so in the end I managed to unstick the uh, spirit gum 
off of the bruise palette and the something or other of the rigid co codron something like that um off the kit so i could throw the glass away after cutting myself as well um yes i finally got this i'm still waiting on the spirit gum because i would have showed you that as well but i haven't got that at the moment but this kit comes with pretty much all that you see in the picture um i got this kit from amazon because i chose it um obviously you can sort of peer in i don't want to open it up because everything is kind of wedged in there um because i have I haven't messed around with it, I've tried the scar techniques and stuff. Um, but yes, it basically comes with um, three mask covers, which I'm not 100% sure what they are. What the three mask covers are. But apparently I've got those. Um, oh wait, <sighs> ignore that. I basically got this palette and there's three mask colours which are like concealer colours like foundation-y um, and five colour different colours so I've got a green a brown a black and a blue um, I've also got liquid latex um, squirting blood I've got quite a lot of that because in the picture it's a large bottle but actually there's like four little individual ones um, I've got powder puff 3d gel stage blood col colligated blood barrier spray uh, crept hair uh, stage line makeup brushes, three of them, um, colour set powder, makeup remover, brush cleaner, spirit gum remover, uh, minus the spirit gum because it does say on here that I should have spirit gum but I had to get rid of it, uh, tooth uh, FX, blood red, tooth FX, nicotine, rigid collagen, Dion, whatever it is, fixative A, um, hair white, with applicator, modelling, putty, fresh wax, bruise colouring, stippling sponge, non-latex sponge, cotton swabs, two prosthetic bullet holes, one prosthetic open wound, um, and an application guide. All in this pack and I thought it was amazing. I wanted it in October and it was like 85 quid on Amazon and then when actually we bought it it was 109 and then when I wanted to return and like kind of replace the broken thing it was then 129 pounds. So it has gone up. I don't know whether it's going to go down again but it has gone up from when I first saw it. So I'm really happy that I've got this and the spirit gum should be here any day now. Um, I also, these are kind of after Christmas purchases because I didn't get them on Christmas or around Christmas. Um, and they are the Nicki Minaj pink print um, album and the Tony Bennett and Lady Gaga cheek to cheek album. Uh, I got these off of Amazon and when you do that you then immediately get to free download. Um, I also downloaded the Taylor Swift album because I didn't want to buy the CD. I don't really know why I didn't buy the CD, but I didn't buy the CD so I've also got that as well. So yeah, these are to play in the car because I've got all all of the CDs by uh, Lady Gaga and Nicki Minaj so it's kind of suitable to buy them. Um, this is very different to Lady Gaga's. Uh, usual music um, and there's a song in this uh, new album by Nicki Minaj that I absolutely love and that's the last one called Grand Piano so I'm actually loving these CDs already um, uh, another after Christmas purchase uh, was uh, Into the Storm Blu-ray which is the one about the tornadoes um, the lighting is terrible at the moment um, I got this, I picked this up for, I think it came to about £11.50 in the end when we went to HMV, we bought two, um, and it was under the £25 or something like that um, for two, uh, so my fiancé got the Transformers Age of Extinction or whatever the new one is, um, I can't remember, and I picked up this one because I really wanted it for Christmas, and I forgot to put it on my list, and then... I decided to buy it myself so it was slightly cheaper than Amazon once we did the deal so it wasn't too bad so I've got this one yay <laughs> I don't know why I'm yaying um, now seeing as this is on top of everything I also got a jewellery box um, it was kind of like a stocking gift so like 
the stocking gifts I don't didn't ask for, so they're random. Um, so yes, I got this uh, jewelry box, and it come it with a mirror, as you can see. You can probably see everything. Um, and I've just pretty much put my earrings and hair clips in that one. You've got a this drawer which I've put all my nice uh, necklaces in, which you probably can't see. Um, oh god, this is heavy. And the bottom drawer just has all the rest. And I actually also got this necklace. Um, I believe this is from Wallace um, for Christmas as well. So it's just this owl um, with kind of beading and this kind of metally concretey gem thing. And it's quite a thick chain as well. And it's quite long. So that's jewelry box. Put that behind me. Um, I'm going back on the Blu-ray stuff because that was on top of it. But I also got the Hannibal Season 2 on Blu-ray. Because I got l Season 1 last year. Um, I have seen all the episodes in this, but you can't not keep collecting your series. So my fiancé has now collected all of the Family Guy and America Dad, so, you know, maybe I'm getting it from him. So I've now got the Hannibal Season 2. Um, I've also got, which it's annoying that there's only two episodes or three episodes left of American Horror Story Freak Show, because that means soon enough. I'm not sure when, but soon enough the um, next season will be out on Blu-ray. So <laughs> it's a bit annoying because I could have come with this one, but I've basically got all three seasons of American Horror Story. Um, I've watched these two, um, which I've seen Coven before. I haven't seen the first four episodes of it though, because they weren't available for some unknown reason. But I w finished watching that last night and like uh, American Horror Story The Asylum which was really weird um, but really good at the same time it's kind of strange like you don't expect things to be the way they are um, and obviously this one was really good as well because it was their first one and I've never seen those two because I was like slightly afraid and then once I started watching Coven I was like actually I really like it um, so that's kind of why I'm addicted to it so now I've got the full blu-ray box set and I've already seen those two <laughs> kind of bad in like space of two days three days I've watched two seasons um so yes that's all the blu-rays I don't think I'm getting any more there are there is actually still one that I'm I am waiting to get which is Grimm season three because I've already got Grimm one and two so I may get that as like a late Christmas present to myself um but I'm not 100% sure um, I also got um, given for me and my fiance two um, tickets to the Odeon Cinema to use whenever I think it's until the 30th of April we have to use these. I already said I don't want to use these to go see Fast and Furious 7 because that's not kind of my thing and I don't want to kind of have like it's his when it's like ours so yes we've got these two. So. I'm not sure when we're gonna, what we're gonna go see, or when we're gonna go see, but we've got two tickets for us to choose when we're going to. We also got a Red Letter Days um, gift from uh, a family member or family friend, um, and it's for me and my fiance to go. Where are we going? remember um for a cruise i believe yes we're going um on a thames sightseeing cruise for two for christmas <laughs> or uh, we've got 12 months to use it if you can sort of see that it's kind of upside down so that's really cool and i can't wait to kind of do that um i'm not sure when but probably in the summer we'll do that because it's a little cold at the moment <laughs> so we're looking forward to doing that that's for sure what else did i get i don't want to go straight into makeup because like i've got a bunch of that um i got some candles um i've got 
or in my stocking I got the Yankee Midnight Jasmine um, candle with a candle holder as well um, which I think is really cute um, so I haven't burned it yet obviously it's still in its packaging but it's really cute to sit there um, and I also got this one which I'm actually planning on changing it but I don't know if I can anymore and it's the Yankee Candle Snow in Love because I don't actually like the smell it smells like kind of nappies and talcum powder but it's um it's the medium sized one which I've never had a medium sized one so uh, it's really cool but it's just a shame that the smell is a bit too much for me I guess it's a bit sickly smell so yeah um also another late Christmas uh, purchase was the Jackery um charger portable charger now I wasn't expecting it to be as big as it was um it's really thick um and really kind of heavy <laughs> so for a portable one it's quite big um but it has a lot of charge it has a uh, 6000 mAh whatever that means basically there's 222 hours of battery power something like that um, and it has a flashlight on it that lasts um, a while as well if you can sort of see that um, and it basically indicates how many like it goes blue to tell you how fully charged it is um, if it's flashing on the bottom one it basically means that it's almost flat it's like 30% or something so at the moment it's pretty much 100% full it comes with its little jack that you can plug into the computer or plug into uh, like your iPhone or your Samsung charger block um, and then you can just plug in your normal charger into there to plug, charge your phone on the go. Just make sure you remember to bring it. Um, but yes, this one's the orange one because I couldn't find any other colours. I think they had black, but I think they had sold out. So I got an orange one because I wanted the mini one and they didn't have any left. So I got the bigger one. <laughs> now it was like supercharged. Also for Christmas, which is kind of... I'm going to just have to show you the whole thing. Um, I got this kind of case for my stuff um, so I've actually got my GHDs in this side and I also got a hairdryer for Christmas this is a Philips Thermo Protect 2100 watt uh, hairdryer um, it just looks like this um, it's just black um, I haven't used it yet so I don't really know what it's like um, so yeah I got that and I also picked up it was like an early Christmas present which was the uh, Nikki Clark uh, curling tong which I if you can see that probably not right there I've actually got a scar where I burnt myself with it so don't stick it to your skin it burns um, and it's really really long which is kind of weird and white but it's really good it leaves my hair shiny and soft and curls for two days it seems so yes I've got all that I also got for Christmas which I asked for was the Morphe Richards easy blend um, kind of blending set it comes with two um, jugs and it's little blender machine thing and a blend uh, the blender cap um, I've used it a couple of times now and so is my fiance and we love it uh, we always have smoothies I kind of experiment with certain smoothies uh, the first one I did was so good uh, the second one I did was okay but I think it was too much on something but I can't remember I think it was too much on green tea um, and a little bit too many nuts but the last one I did was kind of a coffee coconut one and I put too much coconut oil in and probably too much banana so but I am loving this machine it's like my holy grail like I absolutely love it and because I'm on the Kayla it seems or something bikini body guide thing which I've lost weight already and it's only day three and I haven't actually done my exercise for today so in two days I've lost like X amount of pounds like three pounds or something which is astonishing since literally it's only day three so you know good things um right oh i'll show you. i got a set of these this isn't mine this is my fiance's because i 
threw my box away and actually I've eaten most of the sweets out of it so um, but mine was a 90s instead of 80s so she got us all one like my fiance's mum got us ones that were kind of when we were born so I'm 90s so I got a 90s one whereas he got an 80s one um, they're kind of retro sweets of the era era um, so in mine I had um, a sherbet dip uh, with the licorice thing to dip it uh, blackjacks um, these mint humbug things, and something else. Oh, uh, and pear drops, but I don't really like pear drops, so I gave them to my fiance. Um, and in his, he got flumps, refreshers, cola cubes, fried eggs, uh, white mice, and white mice. Um, and obviously, I had the flump, <laughs> which was only one flump, and he had my pear drops, but I get to have some of his cola cubes because I like those. So yeah, they're kind of like the 90p sweets that you used to get, or 1p sweets kind of things, so, which I think is quite cool. Now, the one thing that is makeup related, but isn't makeup. <laughs> oh, I forgot these before I go on to the makeup stuff. Um, I actually got some gloves because I was complaining on fireworks night that my hands were freezing and that I needed gloves with fingers. But obviously because of smartphones now you need to be able to touch the phone. So I got ones with that were kind of fingerless. Um, and that was quite a while ago now when I was in university before. So that was like in 2011. 2010 2011 so I haven't had gloves since then and my fiance's mum actually picked me up some of these and they've got three fingers that are specially designed for um, touch screen phones and I have used them and they're so warm and I actually prefer them being black because they're not so over the top though I did want really furry ones but I got these ones instead which are actually better because then it means I can move my fingers and type on my phone <laughs> But now, this is what I got. It, it says it's silent, but it does actually make a noise. And this is my airbrush machine. Now, I bought the one that was a complete set. Um, because I didn't know what would be in the rest. So I just picked up a complete setted one. Um, so it comes with, obviously, the hose that connects the uh, spray gun to the compressor. So it comes with that. Um, and it also comes with the spray gun in this really nifty case and it just looks like this that's the spray gun um, and it just attaches there and you kind of point it at yourself and spray it I haven't used it yet um, but there's, there's still time to use it I just don't want to mess it up just yet <laughs> and okay. the compressor Oh, I'll eventually get it out. Looks like an elephant. It's really heavy, like a compressor part, which is a bit annoying. But it, I found it on Amazon, and it's the one that looks like an elephant. It kind of has a hole in its bum, so you can put the uh, thingy in there. But it looks like an elephant, which I think is pretty cool. It has little feeties as well, and kind of the indentations of the ears, the same on the other side. Um, and I'm so looking forward to using this. We've tried it out so it does actually blow out air. We've figured out how to use it. Um, it's just sticking in the um, the foundation and seeing how we go. And I didn't really want to buy a special foundation for it, which I know is actually really bad. I should have bought a special foundation for it, but I came up with the next best thing kind of thing. I'm going to try it and see how it works, but it doesn't matter if it doesn't work because then I still get, I can still order the um, foundation just uh, it's hard to get back in this box. Um, it's just uh, simply just ordering it from Amazon and setting it up from there. And I eventually get this box closed. Uh, but I bought the MAC Face and Body Foundation because it's quite liquidy and it comes in a kind of a dropper bottle. I thought if I put some in there and maybe a little bit of water or something it might spray easier. Um, and it's just... 
if you haven't seen it, it's this thing. Um, and it's in C1, um, which is pretty close to my uh, skin colour. Um, this is actually the lightest colour that they do, which is a bit annoying. But So I picked up this, so if I... Oh, I got this for Christmas, so if I if it doesn't work, it's not the end of the world. I can still, still use the foundation. Now, makeup. <laughs> Um, for Christmas, from my aunt, I got these um, lip and eyeliner pens. I believe they're from Amazon. They're all different colours, so there's two the same. Um, so I stuck them next to each other, which are kind of like this uh, darky, pinky, shimmer colour. I don't know where they're from, but they're called Me Now Generation 2. Like, I don't know where you can buy them from. Um, but they got kind of... Arabic or something like that um, written on them as well so I don't actually know where they're from so but I know you can get from Amazon so I'm looking forward to using these I swatched them some of them stayed for ages and some of them obviously um, were really shimmery there are a few mattes in there which is good because you always need some mattes and there's some random ones as well so like blue and green um, there's an orange and like a uh, olive green as well so you can um, use them on your lips create kind of weird styles so I'm looking forward to try on, trying those out and she also got me this eyeshadow palette I'm not 100% sure where this is from but it's so snazzy I don't know whether it's from um, Avon because I did get one from Avon last year but there isn't an Avon written on it um, but basically it comes with this massive mirror and it's all these neutral shades of eyeshadow and then one random bright blue but um, it's such a neutral palette um, there's a lot of light colours and browns there's not too too many dark dark colours which I actually like because I have a lot of dark colours and not enough kind of mm, in between neutrals so like um, I don't want it a particular brown I want a certain reddish brown it's actually all in here which I love um, so wherever this came from it's a godsend so I've got another palette of Christmas um, I also got well the last bit of stuff before Christmas that I got uh, or at Christmas um, is the Stila Kitten All Over Shimmer Duo and it's this most of you have probably seen it by now because most people have it comes with a mirror and it's just these two beautiful shimmery highlighting shades they work so well I like to use the darker one like on my cheekbones when I've bronzed and blushed and stuff and I like to use the lighter one on the bridge of my nose um, my cupid's bow and above or under my eyebrow on my brow bone I absolutely love this and I can't believe I've got it. Um, so yay! <laughs> and it's like a, a love for me at the moment. So that is all the stuff that I got on Christmas Day or just after Christmas Day. Um, and the stuff that I've got after after that, like all the festive season is finished, um, I picked up some bits from the body shop. I picked up two packs of the Tea Tree Cleansing Wipes. Kind of like a late Christmas presents kind of thing. Um, and they smell really strongly of green, green tree tea tree green tree what the hell's that <laughs> um, and I also picked up the tea tree face mask as well just to try it out because I have got a few blemishes that are a bit stubborn to get rid of sorry about the nails they're terrible um, and this one doesn't look like there's any kind of bits in it but it's um, very very green and it looks like it's uh, sloped slightly during the night. <laughs> so yes. And I also picked up the coconut shower cream in a bigger version because I love this stuff and I needed uh, a bigger version because my little ones just run out too, too quickly. And it smells so amazing and it was only £4 as well. Oh, I just love this. I love the coconut stuff from there. It smells amazing. I also picked up kind of like a repurchases and was the BB powder 
Nude Magique uh, by L'Oreal Paris uh, because I was running out of that. This is like a repurchase of a repurchase because I use it so damn much. And I also picked up the uh, Archery Brow Tint and Precision Shaping Pencil by Soap and Glory in Brownie Points. I don't know if this is the shade that I got before, but I couldn't remember what shade I got before. So it's just the one with the felt tip pen and the crayon type part on the end. I like to use the pen. I've been using it quite a lot recently. I can't bother to find the one that I have. So I've been using it quite a lot recently. So I decided to repurchase it and I've just realised there's actually an expiry date on it. The 8th, 2015. Well, did not know that. Apparently there's an expiry date on it. There you go. <laughs> um, so yes, I also finally got my hands on their Real Remover by Benefit. Um, I'm going to be using it after this video to clean my face off so that I can go around and do all my chores that I'm supposed to be doing today. Um, so yes, I finally picked this up. Um, I swatched like a, I put a little bit on my hand and it seems to work but I'm not sure I'm gonna try it and see what happens to actually see if it works so I finally picked this one up I also picked up because I've been using other nail polishes to like the ones that I usually use that dry really quickly um, I've noticed that some of the nail polishes don't dry quick and they can be really tacky for hours after I've painted my nails or like I think probably half an hour to an hour after I've painted my nails it's still slightly tacky um, especially the ones from uh, Urban Outfitters they seem to be really kind of tacky um, so I picked up the Sally Hansen Insta Dry Top Coat um, which is supposed to um, dry your nails within seconds um, so I'm going to test it out and see if it works because I was going to buy the OPI version um, I still might buy the OPI version I haven't really decided but I'm going to see what happens if it works then good because this one's a fiver or six quid where the other one is like 15 pounds so I'm going to try it and hope that it works um, I also picked up like an after Christmas stuff because they're now discounted was the Smashbox um, on the rocks photo op eyeshadow luxe palette god that's a lot of saying um, and it's got this kind of spongy top which I like I was gonna buy the small version and then decided on the big version because there's actually a couple of shades in this version that weren't obviously in the small one and it comes with this giant mirror and they've all got names which I think is super cute I've never actually owned a Smashbox palette before um, trying to get the so they've all got little names and I can't actually get the mirror off for you but it just looks like this and they are so pigmented super beautiful beautiful um, I put the gold one on today which is this shade there um, and I also put that shade in my crease I don't know if you can see but they're really pigmented I literally just wiped and put on and my eyes were pretty much done so I, I'm loving this palette so much even though I've only used it like today um, so yes and it's got this kind of little gem in the middle as well um, to kind of there on the rocks uh, stuff um, so I am super happy that I picked that up and it was only like 30 odd pounds compared to like 45 or something that it was that's so gross my lizard has or well, my fiance's lizard has just crapped um, so yes to pick this up now I picked this up by accident, actually I was convinced I had picked up the um, Stay In Place Double Wear, uh, Stay Lord Double Wear Foundation and actually when I got to the station I realised I picked up the wrong one um, because they were all in the similar boxes and the testers that I was testing were of the of the double wear foundation I thought I picked up the double wear I did question myself when I picked up the box thinking um I sh is it sure that it's the double wear um and it wasn't it was actually the perfectionist which is a youth infusing makeup which I've actually got on today which has actually worked pretty well like coverage wise um it's in the shade ivory 
I've renewed one and one um, and it just looks like this now I've actually got the double wear coming now because I've repurchased or purchased it which was actually supposed to be what this was um, so I've actually purchased it so I now got one coming um, so yes I've actually I, I, I would have swapped it but I can't be bothered to go all the way down and swap it and you know have that hassle because this actually costs a lot more this costs 37 where the other where the double wear cost 29 so i was a bit shocked when i paid for it thinking oh maybe it's just because i picked something else up but no that was because it was the wrong foundation um so yes that was kind of a mistake on my half but they were the kind of the christmas presents after christmas so i've still got a few bits coming i know i said that i was going to get I'm gonna try and get my Michael Kors watch but I'm gonna wait a few more months I think um, because the one that I want is had only just come out so it's still quite pricey so I'm gonna wait until it drops a little little bit in price um, so apart from all of this I've also got a board I also got a board game called Dotto which is a bit strange um, I don't know where that's gone um, I also got oh I got two bottles of chocolate baileys which I subsequently drank <laughs> because it was just so good um, oh I also got a twilight roll up thing which was which is like a brush roll up and it's got the twilight uh, or the cullen emblem on it um, which I think is pretty cool um, I don't know where that came from but I know my aunt got it for me um, I'm sure there was something oh I got two packets of Lebukens which are the I think they're Lebukens they're these German biscuits uh, they're in shapes of love hearts and they're kind of they're covered in chocolate and they are gingerbread with apricot filling and they are just lovely I had so many over Christmas um, what else did I get oh I also got two or one of those tubes of peanut M&M's that come with two packets of peanut M&M's and I ate them <laughs> not gonna lie they were good and that is actually it for everything I got for Christmas um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm sorry it's a bit long and rambly um, I did try and rush for it but I got a bit sidetracked <laughs> um, getting things out and explaining things <sighs> I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas and a good new year. Um, here's to 2015 being good. Um, and I will see you in my next video.